Hello, welcome to another show. I'm Sid, and today I'll be covering the Two Colors Gradient Patch in Spark AR Studio, which, as the name suggests, allows you to create backgrounds and meshes with gradient colors. Two of them. <laughs> uh, this is quite a simple patch. Uh, there's not much to explain, but I will give you a quick demonstration of what it looks like, how to adjust the variables, and what sort of looks you can create. With that being said, I'll pause this and open a new project. Uh, as always, if you enjoy the content I create, drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe because, you know, it helps, I suppose, I guess. <laughs> I appreciate it. And follow me on Instagram. My username is Sid Farmer, same as my YouTube, but without a space. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is get the patch itself. So we're gonna click AR Library, and under Patch Assets, you wanna scroll down, browse all, and scroll down until you find the two colors gradient patch. We're gonna import this into our project, and there it is. So now we wanna ho uh, show the patch editor, drag this inside, and now we need something to connect it up to. So I'm gonna create, uh, I'm gonna add two rectangles. I'm gonna duplicate those. They'll appear nested inside of this canvas. I'm gonna rename this one foreground, rename this one background, come up to layers. You wanna make sure to rename the default layer foreground and add a second layer for our background. Then come back to your scene and under background, make sure that you change the layer here so that they are sitting on top of each other rather than on the same layer. Uh, now that you've got that, we wanna resize them both. So select the foreground and background and adjust to fill width and fill height. Now we have the checkerboard pattern, the standard, but we wanna add our materials. So we'll add a foreground layer material and a background layer material. Now we want our camera texture. So we want to segment ourselves out from the background. So under camera, you want to hit segmentation and texture extraction, which will create these two textures. And under foreground, you want to add the camera texture under the textures panel. And then under alpha, you want to add the person segmentation mask. This creates, mm, this cuts me out from the background and gives you something to work with. So now we have our background. We're going to add the texture here. We're going to add it as a patch. There it is, and we're just gonna connect these two up. There's not really much to it. It's quite simple. Now you can see we have, uh, if I just make myself invisible quickly, you see we have the uh, two colors. One on the left is orange, the one on the right is blue, and as they approach the center, they begin to blur and create whatever combination of color you've chosen, uh, whatever two colors you've chosen, the combination of those two. Uh, yeah, so if I quickly change this to like red and blue, for example, you'll see that as they approach the center, they create this nice purple blending color, which is nice, which is pretty cool. Uh, on top of that, you can offset. So if I adjust this from zero to say 0 0.5, you see it pushes the right or it pushes the red all the way along and the purple blending is just barely visible along the right edge, but there's no blue anymore. You can also do this with the negative value and it will push the blue all the way to the left and you still have the purple, uh, but there's no red. So if you adjust this, you can create like different gradients and push things along as much as you want. I'm gonna leave it at zero for now. With factor, factor is another one, we can adjust that. So if we bring that to like 0 0.25, you'll see it starts to push closer together. And if I bring it to 0 0.5, it basically creates just block colors. So on the left is blue, on the right is, uh, on the left is red, on the right is blue, but there's not really much blending happening in the middle. It's like a very clean line, which I kind of like. From there, you can also rotate. So if we rotate 90 degrees, you see that now it's top and bottom rather than left and right. Uh, and 45 degrees, oh, not 4,590, 45 degrees will give you like an offset diagonal. But because uh, our offset is slightly uh, it, for whatever reason, it doesn't just offset evenly. So you're gonna have to adjust this to around 0 0.21. That'll give you a nice diagonal corner to corner uh, gradient. If you, if you reduce your factor back down to zero, you get the blending, but I kind of like the sharp lines. So I'm gonna leave them. <laughs> I make myself visible again now. You can see I'm in front of it, separated out from the background. If you're noticing a little bit of blur, uh, then come under uh, person segmentation mask. You can adjust your mask size. Right now it's 1.8 by default, but let's say you bring it up to around 2.5, you'll see that it 
becomes a little bit sharper around the edges. You could probably go up to like 2.65, something like that. If you go too far, you'll eventually see white lines and parts of your background just blurring in. So be careful with that. You can also reduce your edge softness just so that there's no major hard lines on the edge. I think that works pretty well. So yeah, that's basically the entire thing. I'm gonna quickly show you how to do it with a mesh as well, what it looks like. So we can add a face mesh. That'll appear nested inside of this face tracker. We'll add a material for that, which I'll just call mesh. And then import the texture, same as previous. Now you can connect this directly to the existing gradient patch that you've got. And all it will do is duplicate what's already there. Uh, or you can add in a second. So you can just drag it in again and you'll get a second one. And we can connect that up. And now we have two separate uh, gradients on two separate layers. I'll change the color of this one to say, I don't know, yellow and I guess green, something greenish. It's not so bad. And I'll rotate it 90 degrees to create some variance. Factor of 0 0.2. You know, you just play around with it until you get the look that you're after. Obviously, if you want, you can make this completely sharp as well rotate something like 45 degrees and then offset by 0.1 you can create you know uh just some funny looking patterns on your face all kinds of stuff uh if we go what is 91 let's say like 135 it's just fully yellow so i wouldn't go too crazy with it but yeah so let's say 35 degrees with that nice uh i'll quickly add in some eyes too so under face tracker if you add right click, you can add a second mesh. Make sure that it's sitting above the original one. And we'll rename that eyes mouth just to make sure that the eyes and the mouth are not checked here and it will, you know, it won't track those in the scene. Now we'll add a material layer, create new material, eyes, mouth, and make sure the shader type is set to flat. So now you can see I have white eyes in the background. Everything's looking pretty nice. I have, uh, you know, a lot of stuff going on. It's pretty busy, a lot of colors. <laughs> you could change the color of your eyes, obviously. You can change the color of the gradients. You can adjust the blending. Uh, but yeah, this is a very simple patch, very simple technique. I just wanted to demonstrate, show it off because obviously other people have much better ideas and just knowing how it works will I'm sure inspire a lot of people to come up with some crazy stuff. Uh, yeah, so that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, like I said at the beginning, leave a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, uh, DM me or tag me in your filters that you make, uh, and maybe I'll share them in my story or something. I don't know. I just like seeing them. It gives me more ideas. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.